Hey, what's up guys? This video is going to be on salt saturation and it's part of the water maintenance that's very, very important. So to give you a quick explanation of what salt saturation is, imagine the water in your float tank can only hold so much salt. There's only so much it can absorb and once you reach that thres threshold, it just starts crystallizing and causing problems because it can't absorb anymore. So the idea behind maintaining your salt saturation is you keep that salt level as, at the highest point possible without crystallizing and having problems. And there's a whole science behind it and all these measurements, but we've made it really easy with our hydrometer. So this is the hydrometer from Zen. And what's cool about this is it has the float zone marked in it. So you don't have to know measurements. You don't have to know all these little details. You just have to get your water level to read in that float zone. Anything higher is not good. Anything below, you'll need to add more salt. So I'll show you how it works. You just compress the buoy and suck up enough water. There we go. You suck up enough water where, let's see if I can show this on the video. Okay. So you're going to get the water level right here at about that sticker line. And what you do is you hold it so this is pointing straight up so it's level. And then this needle is, tells you what your salt saturation is. So I am in the float zone, which is between 1.25 and 1.26. Now, if I was high, it would mean I would need to add more water into my tank. So I would just get three to four gallons at a time, dump it in, take another measurement. Now, say I came in below my float zone, I would need to add more salt. And you can keep your tank running the whole time you do this, but you just get 10 pounds of salt at a time. Pour the Epsom salt in, stir it around, wait for it to saturate, make sure it's totally soaked in, and then just take another measurement. So this hydrometer has made it so easy. It used to be much more complicated. So that's about all there is to it to maintain your salt saturation. And I need to mention, don't put extra salt in ever. So being high is dangerous because when you have high salt saturation, you're going to get crystallization. And it'll actually be the form of crystals and salt shards in your water, which could cut the tub. Also, it can get in your mechanical filter and seize it up. So don't be high, don't be low, be in the float zone. And it's pretty easy to do. I think you'll be surprised. 